How's the touch, boys? How's the touch, boys? Zach? <laughs> Shit. Shit. class how are we doing today we're going to discuss soccer analytics and how data analytics affects the way the game is played today oh. before i start talking about the book and giving explanations on how data analytics applies to soccer i need to show you a video of what my brother did wrong yo alex what's the best sport in america let's say it's lacrosse right now Anyways, that'll happen to you if you come across my path and tell me that lacrosse is better than soccer. So, uh, the book I read was Soccer Analytics, Successful Coaching Through Match Analysis by Ian Franks and Mike Hughes. So a brief description of this book. Um, so there's seven parts. Uh, part one goes over the match analysis, uh, analysis of set plays, Analysis, analysis and practice of successful crosses. Part two goes over decision making. Uh, decision making in soccer, decision making and defending through data analytics. Part three is team play. Part four is coaching individual techniques. Part five is beginning and ending of practice. Part six is the coaching process and part seven is the bibliography. So, so one way that data analytics is used in soccer itself is through match analysis so one question i raise you is how then can coaches improve their ability to remember key events during a game so we know that skilled observers develop specialized sets of predictive features and adopt to certain priorities so therefore soccer coaches must understand key factors in expected performance and have a clear vision of what that expected performance should look like this is where data analysts who specialize in sports come into play so through the use of data analytics you can tell in case one compared to case two case one is a less effective pass than case two because you are now parallel to the defender running in on goal compared to being in front of the defender where the defender can force you one way or the other so another way data analytics applies through match analysis is how a team's performance can be analyzed in a systematic and progressive manner. So for example, during an average soccer game, each team has the possession of the ball approximately 200 times. And since the objective of the game is to score goals, these 200 possessions could possibly translate into 200 goals. Not a very likely occurrence given that the league average for the Champions League is only two games or two goals per game so this is remarkable in the in the sense that 99 percent of all team possessions end up being lost to the opposing team without a goal being scored therefore analyzing a soccer game is a process of recording how where and why the team lost and regained possession a detailed analysis of these lost possessions should provide the coach with an overall view of the key factors that were responsible both good and bad for the team's performance so when coaches take a deeper dive into the analytics of where they lost possession, why and how, they can see that, okay, since you really can't score from more than 40 yards out and anything more is just an outlier, they, they look at the analysis. Okay, so how did I get 40 yards away from the goal? What went wrong and what can we do to fix it? and coaches gather all this information that was provided by an analyst and takes it and it's their job to then improve on the field and get it into their players' heads on, okay, so you, instead of taking a touch inside and trying to dribble, how about you make a simple pass back to a teammate instead?
preference is to go to the left side of the goal every PK. So with data analytics, use the analysis from the match, from the videos that you take. Let your goalkeeper know that, hey, every time Parker goes to take a shot at the penalty spot, he's going to go left. With data analytics, without data analytics, that's a goal. To summarize what I was trying to say, um, basically, so you saw that I kicked the ball to the left three times. Through analysis of games watched by analysts and then by coaches receiving that information, he would then let his goalkeeper know, hey, Parker shot three times to the left. He's probably most likely gonna shoot there again. Okay, so switching it up here, talking about my favorite part of the book. Um, it's a little cliche, but I really can't pinpoint a point in the book where I was like, wow, like, this is the best part of the book. This is the most important information, etc. No, I think my favorite part of the book is just the whole of it in the sense that I love soccer. And, like I watch it every weekend and well, when Corona is not involved, but also I can see myself getting involved with data analytics in the short term future. So the combination and realizing, oh shoot, there are careers out here for soccer analysts are just like, you know, like you can do analytics in football, you can do analytics in baseball. It's not just, it's not just business and sometimes people think it's boring and stuff. No, you could get a niche in your career, shift to the sport. If you're good at it, you're knowledgeable about the sport. And yeah, so it really opened my eyes up on future jobs. And that's all for the gang. Um, like, comment, subscribe, comment some more. Give me a super like. I know all you guys out there on Tinder and stuff. It's boring. It's Corona season. Thanks for watching, fellas. Ralphie Paw. Ralphie Paw.